Wouldn't it be cool if your pivot tables could include pictures? Something like this to spice up your reports? Well, now you can. That feature is coming to Excel. Let me show you. Okay, so over here in Excel, I have some data from a fictional company that sells courses with the course image, the earnings, as well as their customers. If you're wondering how I got the images in the cells, I made a separate video on this and a link to it in the description of this video. Just to give you a brief summary, in the master data tab, I have the course names and I have the course image. This was added using a new feature that Excel is currently rolling out called place in cell. Basically to get these images in the cells, you just have to go to insert illustrations, pictures, place in cell, and select your picture either from this device or online. Okay, so once I got these in here, I went ahead and used an XLOOKUP function to grab the image. Now the even cooler part is coming up because I'm gonna create a pivot table out of this table. So let's go to insert pivot table from table range. My table is called course. I'm gonna insert the pivot table on a new worksheet, click on okay. Now let's grab the fields that we want. Why not grab the course image and put it to the rows? We have the images automatically inserted. Let's grab the earnings and add it to the values. Now I get to see the course image and the earnings together in a pivot table. And the cool thing is size of the images depend on the size of your cells. So if I just expand the size of the cell, I can get bigger images. Let's quickly go ahead and add a number formatting to these as well. Now I have my total earnings by course. Let's go ahead and expand on this. Why not add customer country to the rows as well? And let's bring course image to the columns. Update the formatting of these so my pictures are all the same size. And let's adjust these as well. Okay, so I've noticed that the new data analyst on the team keeps mixing up some of these countries, right? So sometimes they think Austria is inside Germany or they mix up Liechtenstein with Italy. I want to make it clear to them that these are separate countries. Also, when they talk to customers, I want to give them some additional information about the countries so that they can use in their chit chat. Here's the other cool thing you can do with pivot tables now. You can use data types inside pivot tables. So let's convert our customer country to a data type. I'm going to select the column, go to data. Under data types, we have a geography data type. Select that. And if you've spelled your country names correctly, you're going to see this icon pop up on the side, meaning that these are converted to a data type. And if you click on the icon, you get a card pop up with a lot of information about the country. This is some stuff that my analysts could use in their chit chat. Maybe not talk about fertility rate and so on, but information about the population of the country, the largest city in the country, and so on. Now you're probably thinking, what about the pivot table? We updated this in the table. How does the pivot table look like? Well, let's go ahead, right mouse click and refresh it, and we get the data types show up here. So if I hover over Liechtenstein, the card pops up and I can quickly read on all of this extra information about this country. But now let's say I wanted to actually add the flag to my pivot table as well. You can't click here and add the flag from the pivot table. What you can do is add the flag to your original table. We can easily do that by just going to one of these cards. And if you hover over any of these fields, you're going to see that plus pop up on the side. You can extract this area and put it on your grid. The same happens if you hover over the flag. I get this icon, I'm gonna select it, and because I have an Excel table, it's automatically gonna add a new column and add the flag for each single row. I'll call this flag. Now let's go back to our pivot table, bring up the fields list. I'll just go to pivot table analyze, activate the field list. I don't see yet because I have to refresh my pivot table. So let's quickly refresh it. It pops up here. Let's drag it and add it to the rows as well. My pivot table currently has the outline form. So let's go to design, update the layout and make it tabular form. This gives me a cleaner look. Now we don't need these buttons on the side either. So let's go to pivot table analyze, 
and toggle off this plus minus buttons. So the fact that we can use images and data types in our pivot tables makes it a lot easier to create more visually appealing reports. Let's quickly go ahead and add a second pivot table. I'm going to select the first one, go down here, press Ctrl V to paste it and just switch out some settings. So this time I want to take a look at my top five customers. I'm going to kick everything out from the rows. Instead, I'll drag customer name to the rows. Because I just want to see the top five, I'm going to add a value filter to customer name. Under value filters, select top 10, switch out the 10 to a five. I want to see these by total earnings. This is the only value I have in my pivot table. Anyhow, so I'm going to click on OK. Now I immediately see my top five customers and the courses they've purchased. Let's sort this from largest to smallest. It's easy now to spot the most popular course among them. Before we wrap up, I want to share one last tip with you. And that's the fact that you can use custom data types in pivot tables as well. So for example, here I have a list of our staff, but each one has a little card beside it. So when I click on this icon, I get to see their picture. I get to see the name, date of birth, and some other information like position, salary, and so on. These are all custom made. How did I add these? Well, by going to data under data types, I have a data type called employee. Now this is not there by default. This was customly created. And if you're wondering how it's done, I have a separate video on this and I'm going to share the link in the description of this video. So now let's say as HR manager, you've gone and held performance reviews with the staff. Some need development, some meet expectations and some exceed expectations. You want to create a hierarchy to easily visualize who's who. First of all, it would be helpful if we add their picture to the table. So I'm just going to go click on a card and extract the image to the grid. We could also add other information. You can also click on this side to add information to the grid. Let's say we want to add their salary as well. Okay, so now based on this, I'm going to go ahead and add a pivot table. Go to insert pivot table from table range. I want to add it to the existing sheet and I'm going to put it right here. We want to group everyone together. I'll bring last performance review to the rows and I'm going to bring the staff information to the rows as well. Now I can easily see who exceeds expectations, who meets expectations and who needs development. If I want to see their picture or get more information about them, I just need to click on the card. You can also add their image directly. You can then also add their salary information to the pivot table. Let's just quickly go ahead and change this to tabular form so everything is easier to read. And that's custom data types in pivot tables. Okay, so that's a cool improvement to be able to use pictures or icons inside our pivot tables. I hope it gets rolled out soon to everyone because I know you can't wait to have it. Let me know what you think and I'm going to catch you in the next video.